Mm. Now, did you always set your uh, um, eyes or your vision on television and film next, or you just open to whatever opportunity that came next? Which, what was you at as far as what would you want to go after theater? Um, I set my mind on TV and film because three, three or four years in a row of touring uh, the country on wonderful stage productions as a lead, I'm like, okay, I'm getting some traction. People are aware of, you know, my, my skill set and what I love to do, what I call my, my career, my job. Now let me see if I can make this segue over to TV and film and commercial. And it's not an easy transition, but it's possible. So, you know, it, it took some work and then I had to, like theater is real big, right? When you're, when there's 3,000 people in that theater or if they cut a stadium in half and there's 6,000 people, most of my conversations need to be up and out like this. You know, mm. they need to be big and energy needs to be big and you need to be demonstrative and you gotta send energy all the way to that, that last person in the last top row up there. You gotta, mm. they gotta feel you up there. With TV and film, you can just have a conversation and how you feel and what you're thinking is just gonna come across in your face. You don't even have to try to force an emotion. It'll just happen if you're being honest. So I had to learn the difference between the two and how to turn down some of the theatrical expressions and how to just just be more more honest and, and think more of what my character's going through and dealing with and feeling. And thankfully it, you know, it ended up and I'm still learning. I st and I'll still read books or take classes. I still feel like there's a lot more I can learn. So 